Hikaru Nakamura here at Qatar Masters. After round five, he made a draw. Hikaru, tell us about your game. Yeah, I mean, the game was not very interesting. I mean, my, my opponent, uh, Cinderella, spent a lot of time in the opening trying to come up with um, maybe a new idea against this dragon setup, which I, I think I used many years ago against Anish. But, I mean, already, I think when I played that, um, Cinderov, I mean, he's like 18 or something. He's probably like five or six of the time. So, I mean, it was a very long time ago. Um, and I think, the, I mean, the game followed my file basically to the end pretty much. So I didn't really have to think at all except for maybe one move um, to play this Rook C5. But... I mean, there, there wasn't much for me to think about in my opponent had the white pieces, so it's not, not a bad result for me to draw the game. There are a lot of people around uh, your uh, table today observing this game, and we have also witnessed uh, Anish Kiri coming on the board mm -hmm. and smiling, and you had also smiled him back. Was that the reason, because you played this uh, That was game? the reason, but you know, there's another thing also. There's another game that I noticed that had the same position as my game. Um, there, there was a game, I, I don't know where it was, but it was like one of the Indian guys was playing the same position up to Queen B5, and so they were following our game, which was also kind of funny. But then also for Anish, like, like he was smiling at my game, but then also Anish and Jordan Van Force were also playing like the same game too, or something very strange as well. So there, there were a lot of things to find funny today. Oh, wow. And th that was probably the reason why you have not spent that much of the time, right? You had like more than one hour right uh, right now in the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, again, other than other than when I played A3 and Rook B8, I didn't really have to think. I mean, sorry, no, A A3 and Rook C5, I didn't really have to think the, for the whole game. So I was just walking, walking throughout. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... It wasn't very exciting, but that's, that's how it goes. And uh, there was one uh, one moment when your opponent played this c3 move. May I ask, why don't you just capture this pawn on c3? I think if I take on c3 and he goes b3, long term, it's very dangerous. I mean, I, I, again, for a computer, I'm sure that it, it, it will say it's a draw no matter what you do there. But I thought for a human, uh, basically c3 pawn is never going anywhere. And then white has this past b pawn. You can go like rook b1, b4, or maybe rook e4, b4, b5. And again, a computer will probably say that it's, it's very easily holding for black, but I, it didn't seem obvious to me. And I mean, there's no reason to take that risk at all. Okay, and what about tomorrow? There is a day off uh, for the chess players. Do you have any plan already? Not really. I mean, I think I'll probably go stream some and, you know, do stuff like that. I, I don't have a plan. I mean, I think in general, um, I'm trying just to save the energy that I have and, and trying to en enjoy the moment because it's been quite a while since I was here. But overall, the, the whole atmosphere has been very pleasant. And so I'll just try to relax and uh, keep the good vibes going. Thank you so much and good luck to the second part of the tournament. Thank you so much.